Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopping straight in, the first thing you're going to need, of course, is brushes. And I'm also using Dawn Soap. I really enjoy using this soap because it breaks down oils really nice. And I'm also using a medium-sized towel. Not a drying towel and also not a washcloth. So medium will do you just fine. So I'm going to start out by laying out my towel so I can rest my brushes on. Also, you will need a cup and you will see why in a few. So I'm going to start by getting the brush wet, of course. So when I put the soap in my hand, um, dime size, it will be able to lather up. And I'm just going to wash in a circular motion. And as you can see, the makeup is like literally falling out of the brush, guys. I was on vacation. If you did not watch my Bahamas vlog, I used my brushes for like three days in a row. So my brushes are filled with makeup. See, it's going to take many times to wash brushes. You're going to do the same thing, apply about a dime size in the palm of your hand, and then wash in a circular motion. So for brushes that want to act up, you want to apply a great amount of soap inside of your cup and put a little bit of water in it so it can be super concentrated. And then you just want to sit your brush in there so it can soak. And in the meantime, you can go ahead and wash other brushes and for any brushes that want to act up as well and not um, allow you to take all of the makeup out you want to add it to there as you saw I am using my nails to actually get deep in the bristles because of course any type of makeup such as liquid or powder will go down into the bristles also I like to actually wash the handles of my brushes because since I went on vacation and all of my brushes were in a bag, of course, makeup can get on the handle. So I just go ahead and rinse off the handles as well. And here is actually how I wash my beauty blenders. I first get the beauty blender soap, of course, the same way that I would soak it if I was about to use it. I apply a generous amount and I actually put the beauty blender in between my hands as if I'm washing my hands. And the reason why I don't really try to use my nails is because, of course, since it is a beauty blender, it can rip. And if you have the actual beauty blender, which is $20, or even if you have your real technique beauty sponge like me, we do not want to rip our beauty blender. So I try to be as gentle as possible. I'm not as rough with the beauty blender as... I am with my regular brushes, so I do put it in between my hands as if I'm washing my hands to get it out. And as you can see, the tip of that beauty blender did not want to get clean, so I am going to add that into my cup as well. Next, I am washing my pad that I actually got from Laura Mercier. You get this in the um, translucent setting powder. I believe it's only the minis. You actually do not get this pad if you purchase the regular size but I like to wash this too just like I wash my beauty blenders and my regular brushes and now I'm just going to take my cup and rinse it out I believe it had enough soap in it so it doesn't need any more soap it just needs to be rinsed and I'm going to place that right next to my brushes so it can dry. I also wanted to show you guys how I lay out my brushes to dry. As you can see, I do lay them out so they are not lying on top of each other because you do not want the water to drip onto the next brush and make it wet again. And like I said, since I did go on vacation, I do like to rinse out or wash my travel cases simply because since they're clear, you can see when makeup gets inside of them. So I'm just using um, Clorox wipes and some, I want to say, what is it, Lysol spray, but something super simple. And I'm just taking the Dawn soap as well to rinse it out, and then I'm going to move the brushes over so they can dry. 
So this last clip is me just wiping the brushes to make sure they're completely drying and this is about a day later. And this is how I like to wash my makeup brushes. If you all enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.